I just want to uh, congratulate uh, Erica and Jason Dombeck on the birth of Kylie Dawn Dombeck this morning at about 1.30. So we have a new, new member of the Penn State athletic family. So congratulations, Erica and Jason. Sandy, coming to the end of a, another caravan, what can you say about kind of the support in terms of you've been on a few of these caravans now? This is, my, this is my fourth. What's different this yeah. year maybe? Uh, you know, I don't know that it's different. It's uh, there, there just continues to be a building level of excitement uh, within the Penn State community about what's going on, frankly, overall at the university, uh, and certainly from our perspective, uh, athletics and what uh, what our student athletes are doing in the classroom, what they're doing in the community, and uh, and certainly what they're doing in in the athletic venues. So that continues to to build. Uh, we continue to, to to work hard to to make folks proud, and um, I think we're uh, we're showing appreciation for them. Uh, again, that's part of the caravan is for us to come to them. They come to State College a lot and uh, for us to get out and, and uh, be in their environments and uh, and thank them for that and, and they're certainly letting us know that um, that they feel like our student athletes are, are really doing great things uh, in all aspects of what we consider how we define success. Going back to the sport, how would you describe the, the energy level and the atmosphere at the first two events, especially in Philadelphia last night? And how much is that attributed to the crowds coming out and Penn Staters coming out and, and wanting to have a good time? Yeah. First of all, our, our coaches are absolutely great entertainers. <laughs> Not only are they great coaches and, and great institutional fits for, for, for Penn State, but they've all got great senses of humor all, all in, their, in their own way. And I know that that's, that's very entertaining uh, for, for our crowds. It's... Um, you know, I, I don't know that it's changed significantly in my four years. Uh, Penn Staters have always had great passion uh, for for intercollegiate athletics uh, at, at Penn State, and uh, I think we're uh, I think we're we're seeing that continue. Uh, we've got an awful lot uh, to be proud of, an awful lot to celebrate, and uh, I think that's that's what you're seeing us do. Um, I think extending uh, coming to them, as we've talked about before. Um, is is, is something they appreciate uh, and they, they reciprocate with that. Cindy, what's the biggest uh, misconception either from a lack of understanding or misinformation about what you do or perhaps just big picture Division One athletics and how they work? Uh, I, I think that uh, the general public um, doesn't understand the, um, the complexities of this job based on the breadth and diversity of the stakeholders uh, we serve and uh, and and uh, and work with on, on a daily basis. Um, that's not good or bad. It just it just is. Uh, and uh, each and every one of those stakeholders believe that they're the most important one, and they should. Uh, but but then the the CEO of the athletic department has to has to manage that. Uh, has to has to balance time. Has to balance attention. Uh, has to balance uh, you know lis listening ability, uh, and, and then how you act. Uh, on those things, uh, you know. Occasionally, I'll get well. What do you do with your summers off? Uh, you know, and obviously, um, that's uh, that's not the case. The summer are when most uh, administrators uh, have an opportunity to to take some time, but. The complexity is layered at Penn State or a place like Penn State when you've got 31 programs. Um, it's uh, it's a little bit easy. It would be a little bit easier to manage 17 or 22, <laughs> um, but we've got we've got 31, and that's that's the way I want it. I've been in a number of places that, that have broad-based programs, and, and I, I think that's what you ought to do, and, and especially a place like Penn State, uh, that you ought to have a, a, a broad-based, diverse program um, and opportunities for a lot of success, and, and, uh, and that's, what we're, that's what we're experiencing right now.